Hey guys, it's Tilly and today I'm here with another video and if you haven't read the title already, I can tell you it's probably going to be one of my favourite videos that I'm ever going to film or upload to my YouTube channel. So today I'm basically going to let my animals pick my TBR. And a little while ago I did do videos on my YouTube channel which was Pick My TBR which is where you guys got to pick the books that I read for the month and this is kind of like a version of that, except that my animals are going to pick it. And it's going to be extremely cute. So I'm kind of battling against the weather at the moment so I'm not too sure what the audio is going to sound like. Like of course when I say that the wind just extremely picks up. Hopefully it's not going to be too bad and I can work with it and if not I'll do some voiceovers because that'll be fun. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three books in front of my animals and let them choose them. Hopefully by knocking them over or touching them and something we'll figure it out along the way. So this one here is Kel. He's like the alpha of the paddock. My little unicorn baby. Besides him is Buffy, a big, big buff head sheep. Over here we've got Lila and Gertie. These are the friendly two. Then we have our main boss, Foxy, over here. She is the dominant of the paddock, and if she wants something, she gets it. And I don't know if you can really see that head outline down the back in that shade cloth. That's George, and he's stuck. Hey, buddy. He's stuck. You can back up. You are alright? They've actually chilled out a little bit, so I'm going to bring my books into the paddock and hope that I can pull this off without them eating them. These two literally just want to choose all of the books. Alrighty, let's see if this works. So it may not look like it's working, but I was still super optimistic at this point. And for good reason. Ooh, damn! Kel chose Uprooted by Naomi Novik. These two are just not feeling like behaving at all. So I'm going to go give them some extra food and hopefully That'll calm them down because Lila just stood on three books and left dirty footprints all over them. This just isn't working. I can't even put them down and be quick enough to stop them from touching them. You're standing on my phone, buddy. Kel, no. Kel <sighs> Don't even think about it. Lila. Let's go back to just 43 seconds ago when I said this. Hope that I can pull this off without them eating them. Mayday, they are eating the books. Need to evacuate this area. Come on, out, out of here, come on. This turns from good to bad very quickly. Oh, she chose. Lila, <laughs> give me the book back. <laughs> this is not working out how I planned. Kel, this is George's turn. Kel, pick a book, baby. Kel, Kel, now look what you've done. No. This is why we don't have nice things, Kel. This is why. This is turning out to be so much harder than I anticipated. I am sweaty, I am dirty, and I am fed up. So I'm moving on to a different group of animals. I feel bad that the goats did ruin all that fun for the sheep and horses, but we're gonna see how the chickens, ducks, and geese go. So, so far we've got Who's Afraid, The Dry, and History's All You Left Me. We're gonna see how this goes. I've decided to try and bribe them with food around them, but so far to no avail. That's Jerry. Jerry's an asshole. But the ladies. And all that noise you can hear is coming from these bad boys, my geese. The lady at the back's the cutest, so she's blind. 11 minutes later. Fun fact the record for multiple egg yolks and one egg is nine. What I've learned about having chickens is that they love to eat egg. It drives them crazy. I'm literally just showing the egg. I have two chickens now entranced. So let's see how this one goes. I'm just gonna crack it on my camera. Oh my god, what if I knock it into the egg? Oh my god, <laughs> this so So this hasn't turned out how I expected at all so far. I literally have just been left with like super dirty books. Ew, what are you eating, Pip? Pip, put that down. I should just eat that entire worm. Pip Jr., spit it out. Mom, buddy, what's this? Get ready. Yep, I resorted to bribery. Not only bribing my dad to help me, but also trying to get the dogs to just knock a damn book over. It wasn't working. I was really relying on Pippa to help me out on this one, but all she was interested in was just showing me some love. What's this? What is that? What is it? Okay, she picked the love that I have. You guys saw that. Her nose touched the book, and that counts. The love that I have has won this round. Oh. The moment that I pretty much want to grab Terry to film this, she decides to climb up a tree. Terry, don't go further. Terry, Terry, back it up. Back it up, Terry. Terry, come pick a book. Ooh, nearly Just knock one over. Don't walk around them, Terry. So, because she doesn't really want to pick something, 
I've had to resort to a little bit of bribery. She showed the gentleman's guide to vice and virtue. Special mention to Mr. Shadowbean, or Shpeen as I call him, and his mother over here, Forest or Fofi. She's like the cute, grumpy old cat that bites. And this here is Melly. She is my seven-year-old and blind cat. So there you guys have my animals pick my TBR, and it was a lot more chaotic than I expected it to be, but they did actually manage to pick a few good books for my TBR. Huge shout out to my animals for being amazing. As always, I really do love those guys. Even though the goats ate some of my books, it's still fine, I love them. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a lovely bookish day and that great things happen to you. Pew. Hey guys, it's Tilly and today I'm here with another video and this one is going through my top three favourite and least favourite reads so far of 2018.